Welcome, I'm Dr. Barinholtz, joining Dr. Lippi today. Dr. Lippi is going to start a discussion concerning far advanced otosclerosis. Thank you, Lenny. Far advanced otosclerosis, and let's call it FAO to us, means the patient has no hearing by air and fragmentary or no hearing by bone. We did a study a few years ago of these patients, and there were 73 ears involved. These patients were much more frequent 20 years ago than they are now. How do you make the diagnosis in these patients? Well, they have a history of otosclerosis in many cases. Sometimes they have old audiograms showing that they had hearing at one time and bone conduction at one time. Most of them used to wear a hearing aid. The big tip-off is here they are with no hearing, but they have good voices. They're not speaking in a, in a loud voice, uh, and, and their, their voice is well modulated, so a totally deaf patient with a normal voice is an unusual thing. We also did a study, you know, where we found that the bone conduction by teeth is 12 decibels better than bone conduction via the mastoid. So very often that the patient hears nothing, there's no response except the 512 tuning fork on the incisor teeth. It's hard to say what is a success in these patients, so we sort of made up what is a success. And we said a success in these patients is two out of the following three. We wanted to see the uh, post-operative air at least 20 decibels better than we started. Uh, we want to see them able to use a hearing aid now and a discrimination score of at least 20 percent. Now that was the minimum and they had to, to achieve two out of those three. We found that two-thirds of the patients did that. So two-thirds of the patients were substantially improved. So we feel that in far advanced otosclerosis, the surgery is certainly worthwhile. It certainly should be considered before we consider a cochlear implant. We know that if a patient has a successful result in one ear, do the other ear. On the other hand, if the patient does not have a successful result in the first ear, do not do the other ear. Because we would have had a much higher success rate than two-thirds if we had not done the patient's second ear when the first ear did not succeed. The discrimination in the number of these patients is probably far better than what we can diagnose because it's beyond the level of the audiometer and that we should have a high index of suspicion for some of these patients. That's a good point. And you know that all comes in with the tuning fork on the teeth. That comes in with doing bone conduction discrimination, which we do. So they're, yes, the, the patients are very often just beyond testing. The final point, Lenny, is that you better know how to do drill outs because 40% of the FAOs will require drill out of the foot plate. We would like to thank you for joining us in this discussion on far advanced otosclerosis.